Hey, hello, friend, and welcome back once again to Gergus Peace War in East. And now that my uh, brain fog from yesterday is over, uh, let's uh, actually make some sense out of things. Uh, just, uh, I don't know, wasn't uh, super clear yesterday on everything, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm better now. <laughs> so, that's good. Uh, let's see if I can put these guys under the Kempf Detachment Army already. Uh, I actually don't know what the effect of it is, of this being still on the train. But, uh... I, you, you never know. Let's, are we going north for this turn? Uh, you cannot move. Do you need to be refit? No. Alright, fine. Um, let's see, because there's some units that do need to be on refit. Probably not 217th. It does. Okay, fine. Uh, I cannot put these guys together. 79 generally tend to. That's right. It, it's pretty weird because, for example, for Jaeger divisions, they tend to be a lot smaller, so. Kind of worth it to uh, take a look. Alright, so. That's that. Kempf Detachment Army has nothing under it. Obviously, 18th has only their rail. I-4 Railroad Construction is under Army Group Center. Huh. I-4 Railroad Construction. Well, I'm, I'm doing everything I can here uh, in terms of railroad construction. These probably should be staying at Torpets. I have you on Arm Group North, which is definitely not overburdened. I actually could take 28 more. And 28 is not 9th Army, which is severely overburdened, especially now that it's no longer an Assault Army because I took it off of Assault status. Uh. Well, what that means is I need to get the tw at least the 23rd core and switch it up a bit. So 23rd core has 10 units. One, two, three, what? Oh, snap, okay. Ten, ten. I wasted ten points yesterday because, uh, yeah. All right, and now I can ha cannot have more than three assault HQs. Um. Well, slap me wild and call me Sally. That did not go as expected. Um. Uh, okay, I'm in in charge of some serious reorganization once again. So I let's take a look at this guy, Alfred Schlem. So he does have at least six infantry. All right, fine. How about this core? It has a Panzer battalion. No, no, you're you're going to fourth pads army. I, I'm, I'm gonna send it away there. I don't want those uh, those tanks in that location. Uh, but they have six, so what I can do is I can move it over here and at least take another unit. And here and here. There we go. So now they're at nine out of nine, and then I'll have the Luftwaffe. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, the Luftwaffe Field Corps will move up, and I'll have the Luftwaffe Field Corps take the two hundred forty seventh Infantry Division. Second Luftwaffe Field Corps. It's obviously not not the greatest, but now the sixth corps has less units. And since this unit is 
going. After line, is it? Is it? The Kev Detachment Army. Um, so there is the forty. Second, let's put you under the 42nd. We're gonna clean house a little bit as I like to do here, especially in this this campaign. It's uh, the 50th. I think I need to at least try to be marginally efficient here instead of you know not being very efficient at all. 50th core can now go up here. So spam 9 out of 9, 8 out of 9, but there are no parts to take. Um, they're on the same hex as 18th army. That's fine. But now we have the this core, which doesn't have too much. So it has only two. And That just ain't right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How is sixteenth are we doing? Sixteenth is still overburdened here. Mm. The thing is I can put 26th Corps under the Kempf Detachment Army. They're at the top. And that means that the Kempf Detachment Army is at 26 out of 27. If I take out the Netherlands SS Infantry Regiment, and I mean, I, I cannot. really move it at the moment. This is Pitrov. Why would I have two units on that particular hex? I don't really see any reason to. And getting that infantry regiment out it's gonna go to the balkans and then again back to the map within two turns which is just kind of retarded frankly um so let's close those transfers because i don't really see any reason as to why it should go to balkans for two turns maybe that's supposed to be refitting but i don't think that's uh going to be useful for the moment, I'm going to get these guys and our army group north for now. And I'm going to take them out. Um, they'll probably... I, they don't have any purpose being in reserve at Crest of a Dice. They're only going to do that for one turn. But they can't get on the rail anyway at this stage. So I'm just going to shift... Out of parts. These guys are not doing super well. So ideally I'll have them refit for a turn and then get them back in there. I haven't seen any attacks from this side either which way. So hopefully they can hold out. And I'd rather have 4,000 men there on this side than 2,000 men there. But if they had something that could attack, I, I guess that would be a problem regardless. Um, anyway, taking that out, put these at 25, which means that this core by itself technically... 
Uh, it's just such a waste, to be honest. I, I actually think I'd rather have the 50th core slightly overburdened and free up an entire core unit here. Um, I'll give away the Howitzer Battalion, I suppose. Um, to the 26th. And that at least has me free up a core. And that's pretty good. Uh, I'll send it to the 9th army because they are woefully short. And uh, there they can uh, deal with it just a little bit better. Anyway, that surely uh, does take care of things uh, a little bit better. Let's get the 50th core moving up into Muga here. So they can boost that depot. Um, I will have to get some kind of rail unit or something along those lines up here too. One of the problems is that I'm just not... Uh, this labor detachment. I'm also going to put this in the army group north. I really like to have this a bit better organized. Um, 16th army. Do you have any labor units? No, they only have construction battalions. Then how about the 9th? I really do need to take a look at this stuff. They don't. Let's put you guys so I can switch them now. Okay, never mind that. Anyway, I was busy around here. So we have... Uh, now that I've switched this core to the Kenf Detachment Army, it means that 18th Army can take another core, which is the 38th core. It's going to be put on the 18th Army. Which means now that 18th Army is back at 27-27, and now the 16th Army at least is 24-27. Which means that they're doing a lot better, and they can technically take over one unit from the 9th Army, which I'm inclined to do through potentially a little bit of... No. No, my units cannot handle that. Um... 27 is 3 times 8. <laughs> so that ain't, ain't gonna happen. Hmm. Shucks. Well. Hmm. Let's think. There are... a few things I could do. Um, first of all, is getting the 6th Corps. It currently has this Flieger Division. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's move the 6th Corps to Alanino. And at least put you under the 6th. And you too. Ideally, I'll also take these, put these off. Uh, let's get the 197th Infantry Division. Where do they go to anyway? I don't think I've read this one. The 197th Infantry Division was sent to the central sector of the Russian front in July 1941 and remained there throughout the rest of its existence. 
It fought at Smolensk, played a prominent role in the minor battle of Encirclement at Roslavl in August, defended the sector near Vyazma in September, and took part in the battles around Moscow in December 1941 and January 1942. Engaged in skirmishing at the defensive battles of Army Group Center in 1942, the 197th also took part in the Rezhev withdrawal in early 1943. By April 30th, it was down to four Grenadier battalions, and the 321st Grenadier Regiment had been disbanded. The division was involved in the fighting west of Smolensk in the fall of 1943, and most of it was destroyed in the huge Soviet summer offensive of 1944. The division broke up that July near Vitebsk, along, which, along with much of the 3rd Panzer Army and the bulk of the 4th Army. The last commander of the 197th Infantry Division, Colonel, Colonel Hans Hane, is still missing. Okay. <laughs> it's a long time. And was presumably killed. I mean, if he's still missing now, I think he's dead. The division hall staff, however, was pulled out of the battle after Hane disappeared on June 24th and was used to form Staff Corps Detachment H. Alright, alright. Um, let's see, because 9th Army is now 36, um, which is slightly better. Let's just do this. Technically, they have to put a unit in either of these two hexes in order to, to get that back. Should prove interesting. Um... The only way to properly do this is to get these depots there. I only want to put depots on cities either which way. Um, it's obviously still no good since I don't have the rail line by any means. But... Well, uh, we'll see. I would put a depot at Echo's level too, I guess. Mm -hmm. No, this one then needs to be a three, two, three, three, three. Alanino well, should be at four, 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 four. Yeah, that's better somewhat. It's still a big problem either way. Um, I actually think 137th is probably a good idea to get second Panzer away from that area. The road is almost going to Turzok, at least. That's decent. Now, at this point, they're still refitting because they're at 48. But, of course, no troops are going to get there. Um, right. The reorganization of these guys. So, first of all, there's this one, the 251st Infantry Division, which needs to be under something else. And uh, let's see, because I have the forty first Panzer Corps, which is also quite dispersed. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five. So what I'll do is put the 23rd here, put you under the 23rd, you under the 23rd, and you. Oof. They're at 319. I'll let them keep the Stuck or they're gonna go to two. But that's still very harsh. I definitely need to take a look at the support units too. Because um, I might have some units with support units that I don't think it's necessarily a good idea. But we'll see. Um, hmm. I mean, 20th Panzer Division definitely has to stay there, but then the problem is, is that I kind of don't feel like moving Gross Deutschland up like that. I, like, I don't necessarily think that's going to be a great idea, but moving it back to Kalinen, especially after taking that spot, I, I guess I'll hold it there for now. I don't know, I'm, I'm not, not super pleased by that placement, but to be honest, I kind of want something else to go and take over that, those hexes. These, this area here is pretty well defendable because of the woods. So, and it, it secures this rail line. The, um, the all important uh, <laughs> Leningrad Kalinin Moscow rail line, or I mean, this is the, the main rail line between Leningrad and Moscow, so. Uh, ultimately, getting supplies from Leningrad over that rail line further down should work quite well. Look, I, I, I know, technically, if we do win, the game will be over by the 1st of July. If we do win. But if we don't, then we're going to have to play until the end of uh, 1944 here, so... Which is still the most likely outcome, like, to be honest, we shouldn't, I don't have any illusions still. Uh, sure, the war has been going a lot better than one might have hoped for. Capturing both Tula and Kalinin back, getting up to 700 points. One thing that I was thinking about is if this game continues to go along the lines of our previous, uh, the, the main ca or grand campaign, however you want to call it. I think we should go for this. It, there might be a reasonable chance that the ga the AI will give up Tombov and Ryazan before it would give up Moscow. So I was thinking about potentially holding on to Maycop and then taking Leningrad, Ryazan, and Tombov, but that actually does not get you to victory, not even the 775 one. Since this is 32 plus 36 is 68, and then we'll get to 768, which is not enough. Mm, the same applies to not taking any of those cities, but taking Leningrad and Astrakhan. Um, that also does not give you the victory, because that is 72 points, which means that we're still three points short at that point. So that also simply won't do. The only option is to take Moscow. Mm, because I actually think it would be harder, well, the only other way would be Astrakhan, Leningrad, and either Tombov or Ryazan. But I, I think we'll just have to see how we can potentially get along with the points. I, I think the, the main objective still would be to try and get Moscow. That That's probably the, the best option there. 
Um, but it sure... Yeah, it's complicated. I don't like dislocating this unit. Um, if they move up or down, it would be dislocated. So that, that's no good. I have to see how I'm going to put it. Um, anyway, now I have this core being able to take over at least the unit from the 23rd. Is it 27th? Let's get you in Kalinin. And there's still a unit, the Aethos Cavalry. So we have this core, which I guess next turn we'll be able to take some of that stuff. I'd rather have these guys be overburdened than this core, so I'll wait there. And of course we have this Panzer core, which is also overburdened. Uh, I can put it under the 27th for now, this, so that they aren't in such a bad position. Right, so what I'll do here is I want to swing 243rd around as well. Just keep those. Um, because at the very least, let's get you in there. You in there. I can push them away, it, it's not a great attack or anything, but I didn't need it to. Let's get 7th Infantry Division in there as well. The unfortunate part is that I can't not really attack that. Hmm. Uh, kind of ah shit. No. Okay, it wasn't that bad. But I'm not yeah, okay. We'll we'll just have to see how that goes. They would still have a pretty hard time getting out, but I'm quite spent in this area. Refit. Let's send these guys into Bordino. Put a depot on there. Nice thing is that uh, the rail line actually does go all the way up to Bordino. So I'm not one to complain about that at least. Um, let's keep these guys in Shakovskaya. Only problem is this uh, one, two, three, four. I don't want these guys to one, two, three, four, five. get rid of the, the core. So it has to go here. You have everything under control. So Surprisingly, mm, okay, so okay, so unfortunately kind of have to move it around like this so that they don't actually get through there and just walk straight into a significant piece of territory. Mm. 
I suppose though that this is the best I can do for now. And uh, that's basically it for the reorganization, etc. of Ninth Army, Third Panzer Army. So let's go further down. Uh, first of all, let's get this core in here. And let's start moving up the Panzer core all the way in here. They're not too far away, interestingly enough. I was just going to you moving along. Uh, you know, there are things that I can do here, but I'm not too interested so far. Um, I can leave that gap open and move these in here. I do think that move, having a more proactive approach is probably better there. I'll just push these guys back. I, I really hope that will be a route. But um, I guess not. It does allow me to move forward one hex. So, so we'll see how uh, how that goes. They might fight back and then we'll retreat again. Um, all right, these two are pretty much exhausted. I cannot move them. And do I want to move you up into those heavy woods? I guess I kind of do. The 52nd Infantry Division is too weak, though. I'll put it back. Get it on a refit. It, it cannot really do anything by this point. Let's move 4th Army. I would like to move it to Zukanishki. Yeah, let's go. Let's just do it. And you're fine. Okay. Over here, I do have... Let's move out and an OT construction battalion. I would not mind having that. They're under the second army. Let's put this under army group. Uh, oh, that's actually. I'm not quite sure what the second army is on. On Army Group B? Yeah. Let's uh, also take a look at whether they're overburdened. Second Passer Army can take one more unit, technically. So. Uh, second Army here. You guys are under the Hungarian core. I might ultimately be better off putting them under 24th Panzer Corps of 2nd Army. And I'll take one unit from 2nd and put it under these. Probably better. So let's just put these under the 55th. There we go. And then... Oh. Put you on the 24th. I can't. Okay, great. <laughs> mm. Actually, let's put you back. So, I want to move these units also as far as possible like I don't think they're gonna attack over in this section most likely if they're going to attack they'll do it over here and here uh, 
Let's do this. And give these guys some Panzer Jaegers. These guys will then likely retreat, but then hopefully they won't have the ability to attack a second time. That is wishful thinking, yeah. Um, but it might work. Um, now in here. Kind of want to just keep these guys as they are. Alright. Um, I know there wasn't that much action this time, but I, I didn't plan on reorganizing that much. I, I only have some stuff to take a look at down here. Uh, but then I will soon be able to... Actually, uh, ship it back to the Soviets. You're on Armored Group B, Armored Group B, okay. So, um, yeah, I want to thank you all for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Take care, see you then. Bye-bye.